so now you understood about the basic things of this one so for example let's say that i am having a link here okay so we are having http so here i can add variable this is the variable i am having www.ujs.org or something like this so we are having one uh, one link here i want to append this variable link here somewhere so here i am having a link view href go to official docs so i am having something like this and here i want to uh, add this link so directly we can use this something like https some www.ujs.org if you see the example output for this one so here if i click on this one we are able to go to the ujs.org file so now but what i want to do is i want to link this one through the variable so here i am having this variable i want to bind this variable so what i can do here we can do use this like this right so i can use the link why because this link variable is coming from into this this variable so i can use it like this now if you try to see the output let's see whether it will work or not if you see in the inspect element if you see here we are able to see that if i click on this one so it is going to some link uh, link something like that we are able to see it right so this is this is wrong so that means how we are using like this curly braces inside an attribute value so this is an attribute and attribute value so when we are trying to use it like this so you should not use it like this so when you are trying to bind the variable to an attributes we should not use the curly braces and if you use it like this link means it will think that normal string link like this so it should not be like this also we need to use here something like vi if and bind colon href so we are binding variable to the href attribute now this link we becomes it will refer to this url uh, sorry to this variable rather than to the normal string it will refer to the variable so when you use vi if and bind colon like this now if you see the output in this one we go here inspect element now see it is reflecting to the vjs.org which has mentioned in that variable name if i click on this one it will work so whenever you want to bind a variable to an attribute we need to use vif and bind colon or otherwise shortcut we can also use colon like this okay if there is no need for you if there is a there is no need for us to mention the vif and bind so that is a full syntax and this one is a smaller syntax like this also you can mention it so then also it will work so that is also one of the things so whenever you want to bind an uh, data to the attribute value then you need to use this column href so this is these are one of the string interpol interpolation these are called as a string interpolation so these are some of the basic things which you need to learn it and another one what i can say is for example let's say that i am having some html content okay so these are all variables so we am i am all declaring these are like variables i am having some h1 so like this i am having now i want to bind this html content okay i want to bind this html content then what we can use it is so here in this view i can do something like like this html content i can use it like this now if i see the output what will happen so we are able to see directly this h1 and all those things are rendered as something like a string only it should not happen like this it should take it as an html content if you know that this data is not a plain text it is an html means then you need to give you should not give it like this we have an attribute there is nothing but it is called as a directive so vi if an html we need to give it as an vi if an html is equal to html content we need to give it like this now if we see the output then we are able to get it as an h1 tag so this is also one of the important thing you should consider it so this is h1 tag okay so these are the basic things so here you'll be able to see text interpolation we have seen about this one and raw html if you want to do it vif and html directive we need to use it vif and html is equal to so we should not use it like, like this so if you know that the text the variable content is containing html means so you should use it like this but <coughs> it is somewhat uh, suggestive not to use this one but okay fine it's a warning so here you'll be having this this way this will result to the cross site can vulnerabilities but these all things we'll discuss afterwards so we should not we should not use it more more uh, more often it is very dangerous to use this one so one thing what i can say
attribute bind binding so this one also for attribute binding also i have told you vif and bind colon id for any variable for every for any attribute if you want to use it so you can use vif and bind colon like this or otherwise shorthand you can use colon id shorthand also you can use it so like this you can use it so boolean attributes also you can use it like this so these are all the different ways mm. Mm. these are also we can use it expressions javascript expressions also so like this what i can say is for example if you want to write some javascript uh, thing and all the things means you can also use here i can use something like one plus one in this string interpolation now the basic javascript functionalities and all those things it will work too okay and here if i try to say if it is true then yes or otherwise no so these all things also it will work so this is the ternary operator which we are trying to use it if it is true means yes then yes will print actually here you see here yes will print okay like this like this so we can also use the small shorthand shorthand logics and all those things also we can use it in the javascript so you can go through these all things so here we are able to have okay yes or no number plus one so you can do and these are all the things small small javascript things uh, we have which we have learned split reverse join so this type of methods also we can use it so here like this also you can use it so some basic basic things only we should not use over uh, do the over thing in the javascript functionalities and all those things in the string interpolation basic things it will work so these are all the one of the concepts which i want to tell you and another one before closing this one so what i want to explain you is the event handling so how we can do the event handling in the vue.js let's try to do it 